Thank you for watching this video on revision hip replacement. I'm Dr. Joe Gundusky. I'm a fellowship trained hip and knee replacement surgeon. I'd like to help you understand when and why revision of a hip replacement might be considered and the basics of the procedure. This talk is designed for general informational purposes only. You should discuss your particular case with me or your surgeon. Hip replacement is significant surgery. Optimally, a patient receives a well-done hip replacement that achieves its goal of pain relief and increased function, and it lasts forever. However, hip replacements are man-made components that sometimes fail and require revision. This blue arrow shows the ball of the component more superior in the cup than when it was put in due to the wear of the liner over time. This hip is slowly failing. Hip revisions are recommended for different reasons. Common reasons for revision are listed here. Infection in the presence of a hip replacement is a very bad occurrence because bacteria can cling to the components. They often cannot be eradicated with antibiotics alone and components must be completely removed, the infection treated, and then later new components can be reinserted after the infection is gone. Sometimes hips dislocate and cannot be made stable unless components are changed. Bone fractures around the components can require them to be revised as well. Because these man-made parts are not completely natural to the body, they are susceptible to wear and loosening. If this gets severe, it can lead to recommendations for revision. In the past, metal-on-metal -metal hip socket bearings were used and we have found that in some patients this can cause problems around the hip joint or throughout the body. In these cases, component revision may be recommended. Revision hip surgery varies in terms of magnitude depending on what exactly is being done with the procedure. In general, the more components that require revision, the larger the magnitude of the surgery, meaning that the surgical time and recovery can vary significantly from case to case. For instance, changing the ball and socket liner during a revision hip surgery is much easier and different than changing out all of the components of the hip replacement. The risk of complication is higher and required recovery time is generally longer for the more involved surgery. Let me give you an example of a common revision hip scenario. This is a case that presented after surgery overseas who had a severe chronic infection with a multiple different bacterial species. It had been going on for over a year. The patient was miserable and ill. It required removal of all components and staged surgeries to first place a spacer that delivers antibiotics to the area and then later after infection is cleared placement of definitive components with a second surgery. As you can see, this is a very involved process which requires multiple surgeries to definitively eradicate the infection. It requires significant surgery and recovery time. Other revision hip surgeries do not require multiple stages. This is an example of a woman who had a right hip replaced and was very symptomatic with groin pain from her cup. We revised this easily through an anterior approach to a new cup and her groin pain resolved with better placement. As I mentioned, the recovery after revision hip replacement varies significantly depending on magnitude of the surgery required. Because of this, the time in the hospital, time out of work, and overall recovery time varies significantly. You should discuss with your surgeon what your recovery will be like. He or she will give you an idea of the magnitude of the surgery and their expectations for recovery. Hopefully I have helped you understand a little about revision hip replacement. These cases are very case specific in terms of required surgery and recovery. You should discuss your specific case with me or your surgeon to help decide what treatment is best for you. These are major surgical interventions that require a thoughtful discussion and understanding. Come see me or your surgeon.